a little bit of evening scrapping. I don't know why I like it, but I just like it. Probably the Superman colors. For hanging plants and such. Two houses down. So cast iron. Yeah, you wouldn't want to hit this with the lawnmower. That's for sure. Someone say. Someone's going to say. Sometimes I mumble my words that this is copper. Ooh, that's heavy. Wouldn't that be cool if it was? Okay, let's check. That has iron in it. Lots and lots of iron. Hey, where'd that come from? I must have picked it up somehow. This probably weighs 20 pounds. Do you think they're getting ready to clear the snow off their driveway? You know what, I'm not gonna block their driveway. Let's back up a little bit. Whoa. That looks like a 767. It's a wide body, big old airplane, two engines. I think it starts. <laughs> Where's the little? There isn't one. Oh, it's completely dry. I have a feeling there's nothing wrong with this. Yeah, so in my previous video, the uh, lawnmower that I had, the rusted up uh, Bolins, I gave it to a friend of mine. <laughs> he started it right there at the scrapyard. <laughs> And I, and I tried starting it at my house and on, on the video. And it didn't start. But, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, he's got... Um, so he, he's excited about the lawnmower because he was saying, have you seen the price of, like, the, the least expensive lawnmower? Um, new lawnmower. And I'm like, no, I, I haven't I haven't been in a big box store in a, a, a long time. Just because I basically get everything. So uh, he's like, yeah. What you need to do is take a look at that and you'll you'll realize that um, don't scrap these. So yeah, so this is not getting scrapped. If that one was completely empty, I bet this one is completely empty of fuel as well. Yeah, I don't need to ride that one up. Someone else was asking me in the comment section, um, do I need to do preventive maintenance on this lift gate? And the answer is mostly no. Um, Tommy Gate says no. It, it's it. You don't need to do anything. Um, but my mechanic says, yeah, let's once a year replace the oil. And I think I need to lubricate some of these hinges and whatnot. Not sure if I saw some metal. 
Well, besides the tomato cage. Oh, no way. Mm. Nerf guns, really. <laughs> this is not easy. I'm gonna think about that. I, yeah, that, that's a maybe. I have teenagers, and I sure would like to show up. Well, hmm, what's a word for it that I can use on YouTube? Able to win. <laughs> Any super soakers? That is just a lot of Nerf guns. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hmm. All right. Look at all of these Nerf guns. Paul, that's $1,000 on eBay. eBay, Paul. All right. You know what? I don't want to start a war that I can't win. This is a decent scrap pile. I'm impressed, homeowners. I'm impressed. Wait. Is that a decent chair? <laughs> I don't even like sitting. Why am I eyeballing chairs? <laughs> I really don't. I think I said that in a few videos ago. It's like I'm either like doing stuff sleeping <laughs> and it that's not like some some moral supremacy it's uh it's <laughs> yeah it's, it's attention deficit that's doing it uh yeah let's stack them <laughs> my brain's like gotta do something yeah i just don't enjoy it sitting hey what's going on sorry if i parked in your path there oh, no, 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 okay right. yeah so i guess this is the walking path Yeah, probably the most sitting I do is while I'm editing. And it's not comfortable. It's not. This isn't gonna work either, is it? No, I'm gonna go this way. organizational skills to the test. Wait a minute. That's like old school chair mixed with a new school office type chair. Hmm. I bet my teenagers would like that for their gaming stuff. When I say teenagers, <laughs> talking about all of the 20 and under friends and family that hang out. Hmm. Should I surprise him with it? How tall does it go? I know it's a bit dirty, but is that as high as it goes? That's, okay, that's super low. Yeah, I, I don't think they'll, that's too small. No, that's for, that's for a kid kid. Nope, even the young teenagers are like adult size. There is a baby rabbit right here. See that baby rabbit? Dude, you came from across the street, man. What's up, baby rabbit? 
You're supposed to be with your mommy. And I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> here you go. <sighs> Sorry, dude. I think it was metal. Yes. Good, good, good. Yeah, that didn't feel fun. So I just finished the route. Uh, for this evening. I'm gonna do the exact same route tomorrow morning and I'm also gonna take that lawnmower off at my house probably test it. It's at least it's gonna come off the truck I'm gonna repack this um, And we'll go ahead and pick up this operation in the morning Good morning It's the next day and yeah, I, I Other stuff just took over had to go grocery shop and do some other things Yeah Let's get this off of the truck and then we'll go scrap it. If I can get this, but see the sun coming up. I think it's the, and I think there's smoke in the air or something. Cause last night you, you could totally look at the sun. It was just like this dim orange ball. And I'm like, there's no, there's no clouds. Um, it's so, yeah, so I think I think there it's from wildfire smoke. Morning, Ralph. What is this on the curb? That looks like scrap metal to me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna seriously block their driveway. <laughs> Yeah, it's chilly this morning. What's up with that? I thought this was supposed to be springtime. Is. Perfect. Yeah, that's a that's a better view right here. That's smoke. Growing up in Las Vegas, there was a lot of wildfires, and uh, that's kind of cool. It's copper plaw. <laughs> it might be. But I doubt it. This is always a good stop. <laughs> and we'll get into that. What? That's not metal. Thanks, folks. Yeah, it's supposed to be a beautiful day today. Yeah. I have a feeling <gasps> that there's scrap. Can you see that? All right. Let's do real time. No editing, Paul. I had a, a person say in one of my, the comments um, that we want a video without editing. I'm like, what? I mean, I don't, to me that's golden because I don't have to sit there and edit. Because editing, um, a 30 minute video takes over an hour to edit and over an hour to render, which means to have my computer make it into one video. And then it's like, it's an hour 
to uh, to upload it to YouTube. Yeah, and sometimes more. Sometimes YouTube will uh, give me a hard time. Yep, yep, yep. And when I say hard time, I'm talking like sometimes it can just get stuck. You can't like undo. I'm getting dizzy. Right. Cheaters. Are they drumsticks? They're wake up. That's what they are. Clang, clang. I don't want to be too loud. It is just a little bit past 6 a.m. It's a little past 6 a.m., but I'm feeling good. Like, it's almost like I'm cheating in life. That feels so good. Oh, it's part of a barbecue. No way. open quick let's get out of here fresh air too. It's crisp and a little bit windy. Hopefully it wasn't too windy in the microphones. Hmm. I don't want this part. You didn't. <laughs> really train? That conductor is quite upset. Um, that's an awning, hasn't it? Dude. And Christmas lights. What? Merry Christmas. Into my truck. Sweet. A little bit of cast aluminum. Yeah, you gave me the broken piece. You're awesome. Kind of chunky. All right, you get to go up front. Ooh. Appliance. Hey, this is the lady that gave me the barbecue one time. Yep. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a workout. All right, unless I wanna dismantle this whole thing, put it out here, get the refrigerator, and then put everything back on, um, I'm just gonna have to halfway do it. Yeah. Yeah, the refrigerator doesn't have to go like right here.
Okay. Refrigerator. <laughs> you know I want to sing that Dire Straits song. We gotta move these refrigerators. This is a, that's a big refrigerator. I don't think they get much bigger than that. Well, I guess they might, but not for houses, for a regular residential. Where do I want the opening? On the side so I can put scrap in it later? Probably. Yeah. Put the, the doors, eh? See a little piece of cup car right there. Clip the cord, Paul. Okay. Yeah, I want to say thanks for those that are helping me stay accountable with cleaning my shop. So yesterday, after editing yesterday's video, I went to the shop, I did about 15 minutes worth of work. Not a lot, but it was some. It's the type of stuff that's just not fun for me, but so needed. Oh my, it just really is. Hey. I probably could put the doors. No, I don't know. We'll see. not going that way <laughs> it's arguing like right now <laughs> I'm thinking that was I in the middle of a sentence and I forgot to finish? I can't remember. Is this gonna work? Just falls out. <laughs> Quite the circuitous route the scrap took. Nope. That's staying. Ooh. Fine then. I wish all of this could be recycled. Uh oh. This stuff buried too much. Nope. Good. That's not the homeowner wanting into their driveway. Yeah, this is going to be a good morning. That is for sure. Huh? 
over, under, and through. Yep. Is that the beginning of a cornfield? I don't even know what the first few leaves of corn looks like. Is that? I have a feeling that's corn. It could be soybean. I don't know. I just heard this person from the other street yell. He's like, hey! You might have something for me. Sometimes my window doesn't work. There it goes. Hey, good morning. Morning. What's happening? Would you? I don't know if you'd have any use for it, if it would be worth your while. I got a cast iron tub I got to haul to a dome. Hmm. Yeah, is it in your garage? Yep. I uh, would it's love to. It's on a dolly I can haul it out with. We, we remodeled the bathroom and put in a yeah. walk-in shower. Can I back up right here? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Wonderful. Sometimes I never know what I'm getting myself into <laughs> when I'm being hailed. Cool, that's enough room. Someone can drive by. I'm glad your voice carries yeah. when you were uh, yelling for me. All right, let me I drop my gate here. I by behind the dump truck and I never thought about it. You driving by on the weekend. Yeah. Or, you know, Wednesday or senior or yeah. drive by and I thought, oh, this would be great. Wouldn't be interested in it? Damn, I'm I didn't very interested. And then I seen you drive that way and stuff and I'm out there waving. I wasn't sure. I didn't see it. But what, when I was on that street, I heard this, hey! Yeah, I'm like, but I figured, oh. okay, as soon as you come back around there, so I stand at the senior truck and figured, okay, I'm going to yell, see if we can. Yeah. All right. Cool, I think I can handle it from here with the lift gate. I'm just going to spin it around and tie it to the fridge. But yeah, I've seen that, and I've seen it, or whatever. Yeah, like. yeah, I'm, I'm. Th this is my jam right here. So you had to cut a piece of the tub out? Um, when my dad was alive, they cut it in for like a walk-in door for an access. Okay, yeah. And my mom's old enough; she couldn't step over it. Okay. She, a hard she had a hard time getting her foot up. Yeah. She built a ramp. Okay. There was a four-inch gap. Right. Which was fine, and she got to where she had a hard time doing that four inch. Yeah. Well, she ain't never getting in this thing. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're there for your parents, you know? She was like. She said something about the shower, and it's like my brother and I over the last week. Right. Tore the damn thing out. Put it in the shower? Good. How long did it take you? Like all week? Yeah, we started a week ago Thursday. Okay. And I just got to seal around the floor, around the base. Right. The board, other than that, is done. Okay. I think this is the most productive route in, I don't know, less than an hour. It's 6.48 a.m. right now. But before I go any further, I'm putting another rope around that. Yes, yes, yes. You know, sometimes you can just tell it's going to be a good day. Yeah. Half the time I'm wrong, but... <laughs> no, this is... This is all right. I'm getting all discombobulated here. I'm going to go from the top, because I want to I get a little bit more... Um, what do you... Support? I don't know. And then I want to use a trucker's hitch. I have to remember to do the loop with significant space for tightening. Yep. See this bottom one loosening up? I'll go even further. 
Yep, that's about as tight as it'll go. It's slipping. Now that that is looser, I need to tighten it up. That is. Hey, G man. People trying to sleep. Yeah, that's definitely steel. Like that but I'm not sure if it'll fit the other way so what kind of animal is that <laughs> a fast one and the award for the most awesome homeowner ever goes to you <laughs> seriously aluminum thank you very much Steel. Thank you very much. Hmm. Those aren't bad jack stands. Anybody want to change your oil? No way. Nailed it. Come on. You were going to say it too. Oh. Yeah. Get in my... Get in the cab of the truck. This little box of goodness is going... Oh, there's wire. So I've got screws. Nails, wire, and a violin playing angel. Oh, I almost dropped it. <laughs> yeah, this is why I like scrapping. What other goodies do we have going on here? Plastic? Oop, just dumped it out. Kind of plastic. Medium duty. <sighs> he said duty. What is this? Burlap bags. I don't know why I want the burlap bags. Get in my truck. All right. Let's get out of here. Like, what are some good uses for this? <laughs> this is turning out to be quite the nice bit of scrap. Man, 
I've been listening to way too many podcasts. All these words are just swimming around in my head. Rapamycin, mTOR, uh, metformin, resveratrol, berberine. <laughs> just like, oh, so many. Is that plastic? That's no, metal. That's plastic. And I don't want to bring this much plastic. Oh, well, I guess that's metal. Huh. How can I? Guess it doesn't really matter. Guess I have plenty of room here. You know, the more I learn, the more I realize just how much I don't know. And I, yeah, I was thinking about this the other day, that the amount of stuff that is known, that is that is out there, versus the amount of stuff that I know, I know virtually nothing. Like, uh, from a percentage, I don't know anything compared to what everything that can be known. A little something peeking out at me, saying, hey! I went to uh, take one of these to, um, how do I phrase it? A, a scrapper that is probably gonna be my new mower man. Um, I was gonna give him a, one of these weed whackers. He's like, no, those are terrible. <laughs> so yeah, they're very difficult to get started, especially the, the two stroke ones. So yesterday afternoon, I did a little bit of me scrapping without the camera, and I brought in um, half a load, and I weighed out at 63, I think, 63.60. And so I have even less gas, so I, I'll bet I'll weigh out at 6,300 pounds. So I'm hoping for 700 pounds, so what's that 63 so 7,000 pounds so anything over 7,000 will be more than oh dude am I on the scale yeah 73.20 man it is clear oh, I like it that is cool, they're sweeping up. I'm gonna go right here. Give me some room to actually offload. Hello, good morning, sir. Cool, that's gonna help. It might be good. <laughs> yeah, yesterday when I did my me scrapping, um, he actually grabbed the um, weed eater that I nor the other guy wanted. Thank you, sir. I'll get these later.
Woo! It's shattered. Oh, it's, it's on that bed. Bed frame. It's not gonna let go of that bed frame, is it? Hang on to this. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Just in case he wants it. Thank you for the help, sir. I shut it off. Elevator's broken. I bet he'll get that started. Yeah, that was a good workout. I have no idea how much I'm gonna weigh out at. <laughs> I'm hoping a thousand pounds. Green light, come on. Yay. Park all wonky here. Maybe not that wonky. That's better. Let's calibrate the scale. Huh. Wow, I can feel the scale wiggling. Whoa, you see that? <laughs> yes, Pa, we see it. What's up, Bill? Hey, you pay this guy $300 a ton. I'm going to give him close to that. Did you hear? That was close? Okay, then you make it $350 a ton. All right. $350. You got to. You got to take care of that guy. He's here every day, man. <laughs> Except when I'm not. But, uh, Paul, I'm going to give you a check, all right? Perfect, man. I'm totally okay with that. You're rocking on. I thought you were rocking at the couch. Well, kind of. I heart scrap metal. Nice. Yeah, a viewer sent it to me. Nice. And you see the heart? Well, it's... it has um, the, the, what do you call them? The atomic. Yes. What do you call them? The atomic number? Well, the atomic number. It's a periodic table, periodic table of elements. Nice. Yeah. And so, yeah, so it's Fe is iron, Ai is aluminum, <laughs> copper, tin. Um, lead is PB, zinc. Nice. How clever. So is that viewer a scientist or something? Um, I think a lot of my viewers are like way smarter than they portray because they say some amazing things. Nice. So, cool man, you doing good? Yeah man, yeah. 
I'm trying to catch up. We'll get it. But let me run out here, okay? All right, man. I'll see you. Thank you. Yeah, he has to stay productive. There's not time for chit chatting. But God has time for chit chatting. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I love you, God. Thank you for life. Thank you for love. Thank you for caring. Thank you for providing. God, how can I help you today, God? <laughs> Sometimes when I pray, it just makes me cry. What can I do for you, God? <clears throat> hmm. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, amen. <sighs> what? $350 a net ton? Just kidding, just kidding. 10 cents a pound, $200 a net ton. So I weighed out at 64.80. Huh. Oh, you know what? I had stuff in the back of the, of the cab. That chair weighs probably a thousand pounds. <laughs> So yeah, 840 pounds. I thought it'd be a little bit more than that. 840 pounds, $84. Yeah, and I got a check. Nothing wrong with that. That check will cash just fine. Thanks for hanging out with me. You're awesome. Yeah, just be awesome, stay awesome. Do your thing, be you. Yeah, that's completely dry. Dinosaur juice.